I had aha at the end of this, and I hope you guys do a little bit too. But it's a way to look at things differently. Hey, this is Blake Sloan. I've been selling real estate over 14 years. Our team of highly trained professionals, along with our unmatched marketing, has sold thousands of homes here in the Myrtle Beach area, and this is how we do it. Why is it that people, two things. Number one, don't make it, or they make it for a while and they hit a certain plateau and then they fizzle out. Or they just hit a plateau and stay there. People will do 12 deals a year, stay there. 14 deals a year, stay there. Um, what really fascinates me is, not fascinates, but really frustrates me, is seeing people that come in continuously, that have the same exact tools, same exact presentation, same exact book, look, same exact manual, same exact training, and why do some make it and some don't, right? Why do some have a higher level of success and some don't. And I used to think it was just natural skill, natural ability, uh, but it really came down. I've been studying this a lot, so it's going to be pretty deep uh, that you may get it, but it makes a whole lot of sense in the back end. So no matter where you're at in the beginning, if you've been here for a while making a ton of money, the difference is how do I get to the next level, right? And so that's one thing that I want to talk folks on. That was one thing I was going through. Uh, this guy I've been studying for a while. I was telling you guys about $50 million a year. They'll probably do $100 million a year this year um, in the consulting business. And the reality is the same exact problem there. And when they take people through these things. And so it's something that is important to look at. And most people think that they just want to focus on tactics and tactics and tactics. So everybody comes in here, they want the tactics, right? Which is what? What's the tactics? What's that mean? Presentation, script, basic stuff, right? But there's not enough focus sometimes on, on paradigm. What do you guys think paradigm is? What does that mean? Oh, I'd say it's my mental shift on how you do the game. If you change uh, the way you view the real estate market and the obviously your own capacity. Right. So it's easy enough to say for right now uh, that it's just how you see the world, right? And I was looking at this. This is a big aha for me. It's going to take a minute to build on kind of like last week. It's like, what's the dark force that's holding your heels? What's the enemy that you guys get when you get in the business? And really, um, it's fascinating to kind of look and understand, and it all comes down to, to paradigm, right? But that's one thing that I think I wrote down the definition is that paradigm, right? You just got to engineer a way to reprogram your mind. Uh, so it's profound and seeking uh, things to be seen a new way for the first time. And so that's the one thing that I was talking about. It broke down that example of the blind man elephant and it had to really do an aha with what you guys see when you come in here. You guys ever seen this picture before? The blind man, the elephant? So it has the bl blind men, right? And it's got elephant, but every person who's blind, what do they think? They, they see a different part of the elephant. And so the reality is they think it's real, right? They think that uh, the, the tusk is a spear. They think that the ears are fan. They think that the sides of the wall they think that the tail's a rope, they think the leg's a tree, and they think that the, uh, the trunk is a snake, right? And to the blind person, what happens to that if they see that and feel that? Real. It's real. They believe it, they feel it. They think that's the reality of how they see what? The world. The world. So which would be what? We've talked about this a lot before, right? Yeah. Worldview. So the challenge a lot of people when they come in here is what? The world. Worldview, right? how they see things around them. And the problem with people in today's time is they have this blind man, the elephant contrast, and they will fight you to the death thinking that that leg of the elephant's a tree and how they see things. And the other part of that is a selfie, which is really associated with what? With how you see things and how you see success. And so most people are kind of taught, thinking that people are successful or lucky and that things are just a certain way. And really kind of gave an example. And this guy, Sam, gave a really good example about this. And he talked about, and this is similar to me, and it's something I'm going to talk about in a minute, he talked about going to uh, this beach house with his girlfriend. So his girlfriend had her best friend. They had a beach house to go to. She's like, you want to go to the beach house? He's like, yeah, we'll go to the beach house. They get uh, there. He realizes it's not a beach house. That it's actually an island. And that the girl's dad, her b best friend, owned an island, um, basically, that they had to take a helicopter to, laying on the island. This dude that grew up a normal life, right, kind of like all of us. And he got there, and he's like, dude, this is crazy. And he realized that what? There's a different type of world out there. Riding a helicopter, getting these things, getting to that point. And he said he remembers getting there, and uh, there's a statue. And this amazing statue. He asked the dude you know, about the statue, and he's told him the price of the statue. He said he did the math. That was 17 years of his salary for him to be able to pay for that. And he worked for Vodafone at the time, which is like a nice big company. had graduated college is doing that. And he said, how in the hell does somebody spend 17 years' worth of my money, my, my salary, on a statue? Right? And he realized that what? This dude had a way different what? Paradigm and rule of view. And he talks about a different part of that was is he was going through one of the, um, the houses, and this is interesting to look at. He cut the lights off, and the lady who was, I guess, a, not a servant there, but a, uh, an employee, uh, told him to keep the lights on. 
And he said, why is that? He said, he wants this place lit up like a Christmas tree. He believes that the world's abundant and that there's tons of money, there's tons of uh, abundance to, to be gotten in the world. And he said, just like, blue is mine, right? You've heard Grant Cardone talk about that. You guys heard him talk about it? He talks about what? I leave lights on in my condo. He says it all the time, right? Oh, whatever it is. And so the reality is, it's a massive shift. Now, everybody's not like this, but the key here is a paradigm. And he told the story how they were in this beach house watching TV. It was actually 60 minutes. And he said something came on that was basically super negative about what was going on. It was some turmoil within the country. And so he immediately got up, walked out. So he didn't say a word about that, didn't say anything to anybody. It wasn't like belligerent about it, just got up and walked out. And he said he was young, obviously wanted to be an entrepreneur. And the guy was a big entrepreneur in Australia. And he went and asked him, said, look, here's the deal. I don't ever allow anything negative like that in my mind. I don't want to put anything around me that crazy doubt. And so it was a massive shift in what? Two types of what? Worldviews and paradigms. And so the reality is that's a whole different world. But the example was, right, he realizes he was not a normal person. And so the same thing here, what I want you guys to get, what makes or breaks people that come in here is what? The worldview, where they see things. And so instead of us focusing so much on tactics, right, the key is I want to look, how do we focus more on building the paradigm, building the paradigm, building the paradigm? That's something that was interesting, right? And so that's one thing that you got to think about is that two, these two people, him and the guy, saw the world differently. Every single thing about it was seen differently. One sees abundance, one saw scarcity. And so how do you create that? What creates scarcity? What creates abundance? What do you guys think? Yep. Hundred percent. That was what I was looking for, right? Most people are usually raised that way. A lot of us are in that scarcity mindset of what you know is super success, right? We're all usually taught that what going to school, get a college education, get a job, that's success. But ultimately, we're finding that that necessary is not the case when you have hundreds of thousands of student debt, right? It's hard to sometimes do that. And what we're finding, and as he talks to us a lot, is that what you're finding people going to college anymore aren't bringing value to the marketplace, which is why they're not being rewarded with that. And so if you look at how capitalism works, eventually that kind of just levels itself out. I'm building on that, what it talks about, but it said, have you ever believed in your life, you know, that only people that were, were successful were lucky? And he talks about the law here we mentioned yesterday where it's not. Does that make sense? You guys are losing you. I'm kind of building on what it is. But here's the one thing I look at, right? You ever had the feeling, right, or, or feeling inside that something's holding you back, some force? Anybody ever felt that? Right? Consistently. Um, it's crazy to look at, right? The dark force that seems to be pushing against you, making you suffer, right? There's a person that's to blame for that. To look back on, right? How that looks, right? Self-destructive. How I act in alignment is not with what I want, right? How I act is not in alignment with what I want. But also, there's a self-destructive way that we tend to act, right? That constantly holds us by our heels. And number one thing we know, it comes down to what? Megan said it. You, right? Comes down to what? The stories we tell ourselves. This is some super simple shit. We've told this like 50 times. There's a big aha at the end I want you guys to get that I had an aha. Like, this is what the missing link is when people come in and make it or don't make it. Or people come in and they stay where they're at, just being okay, or 12 or 15 deals a year or 20 deals a year. It comes down to this obsession. And what my big aha for us as a group and a unit is, is I think sometimes we put too much energy on the wrong thing. For example, 80% on tactical stuff, 20% not enough on the paradigm. And the paradigm we're talking about today is you. And there's a big aha. If I looked at who's been successful here, who continues to be successful, there's one thing you're constantly working on, one thing you're constantly seeing, and you're seeing it shift. Does that make sense? And look back for me, right? It goes back to that's one thing I want you guys to write down too, is that you have met the enemy before. Guess who the enemy is? It's you. Right? It's the inner demons that we have, the inner ways that we've been really brought up and thought. And really the one thing he talks about is how Western culture, us, has really kind of pushed against anybody changing anything. We've all heard this growing up over here. And a lot of things that we hear are what? You, heard, you probably heard it. You change. You got to remember who you are. Remember where you came from. All this shit that tends to do what? Holds us back into what? The box that we were put in and how we were brought up. The box you're put in by how our parents came up. The box you're put in how we thought we were came up. And that's why you see things duplicate over and over and over um, and how it is. And that's one thing you see consistently. Have the same political views, most people, right? They have the same views on economy, views on people. All that stuff is really duplicated from, obviously, the parents and how they're brought up. And all of us kind of similar way. 100%.
There was a girl yesterday uh, was on my Facebook that posted this thing about being a proud Democrat and all she posted, like her, her, uh, her voting thing. And I was like, that's interesting. You know, I, said, I guarantee your parents are Democrats on there too, right? Guess what? Because I'm just trying to understand like, what's going on these days and how people view certain things and whatever it is. And guess what? It's duplicated the same exact way. And so in today's culture, everyone's pushed so much into keeping the same exact thing. And so obviously I'm getting to all this and what the difference is, but it kind of feels uncomfortable talking about this, right? A little energy is a little weird, but I want you guys to feel that and that's okay because it comes down to really the one or two things that make or break who it is, right? There's two ways to shift this. I want to shift this in a minute. One of the ways is getting around people who, who have a different paradigm, right? Like that guy I was saying about a buddy I met who's got the airplane we hang out with. I get the chance to hang out with him this week. I had the opportunity to take advantage of that. Where I was at because I want to get around a dude who's got a different paradigm. Dude makes five, six uh, million dollars. He told me last time I saw him a few weeks ago, he's made two million dollars this year already just in the stock market. Just playing on the side. Right, and so I get on people like that. I'm like, dude, I need to know what this dude knows. And so the more time I can spend around people like that, guess what it does? It shifts my paradigm. You get on a private plane, private jet, ride around with somebody. Like, dude, there's a different world out there that you can't really understand. It's not about those things. I care about one thing. What do you think it is? Deeper. How this dude thinks. How does this dude think to be able to show up and do these things to have this mindset? And that's all I care about. Is like, how do I switch that? You know why? Because that person built a company who does massive amounts of business and they have a different mindset. And that's why I keep getting invited because we talk about these similar things. And he said, one thing's important. He said, man, one thing I like about you is you talk about things you don't talk about people, right? I want to talk about mindset, things that go forward, but that's one thing that the number one way is to get on different people. But the first step why I bring this up today is that we all got to realize like, number one, what's been programmed to me from my paradigm, from my parents, because most of it is, for most of it is probably not positive, right? My parents did okay. They didn't do great. Right? Not, not very much, but they all kind of had a, my dad had a victim mentality sometimes where the world was against him. All of a sudden, I started getting around mentors and people who had a different paradigm. And guess what? I started seeing things differently, seeing opportunity differently, and seeing opportunities that a lot of people passed up, they didn't take advantage of because of what? Paradigm, which is leading to fear in the way they see things and the limitations uh, that they see on there. And that's what it talks about. And Sam talked about going through people who are consultants. Lots of people are successful. Some aren't. You know, why do ones make it, why some don't? It's very similar to what we see here. Sometimes you see the underdog makes it. Why is that? They push hard. They have a paradigm, which is to fight and to push through no matter what. And eventually, they get to that point we showed you on the previous page, which is a breakthrough. Does that make sense for you guys? And so the reality is, here's the two different things I want you guys to see. And this is something that was a big aha for me, is that the person here that starts out is not anywhere close to the same person here that achieves success. And we're pretty good about this as any organization I've seen around here locally, like we focus a lot on what? Building you, building a man, building a woman, but I just wanted to really focus today on this because it goes so much deeper than just the night at goals, right? How do I make sure there's an obsession with me constantly building a man, building a woman? It made me think, and this dude showed a picture, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back and look at a picture for me. It's funny, I'll show you guys this. Uh, a while back, where it was, uh, this is me when I did my webinar for the Certified Lewis Expert 2012. Like this dude right here, if you guys see this dude, this dude right here is not the same dude today, oh. right? You see the difference in the physicality, the way you act, the way it is, but guess what? This dude didn't see the things that the way the world sees it. This dude saw negativity. This dude saw people that would just steal stuff. This dude just saw, you know, uh, it was just angry about life and different things. And guess what happens? Over that time, you gotta do what? You gotta build a man, build a woman, right? And I mentioned this a few times, I was gonna get to the point is that, here's the thing, who you are right now is not who you're gonna have to be able, who you are right now is not gonna get you the things that you want. Period, why is that? Why do we know that? Because you don't have them, right? And so the reality is that, here's the one thing I wanted to kind of hit again, this is some simple shit, I've taught this a hundred times, but I wanted to just kind of remind everyone about this, is that people don't get successful out of the blue. Period. They don't get successful out of the blue. It doesn't just happen, right? You can't main, remain the same person you are right now and get the things that you desire. You can't remain the same person that you are right now and get the things that you desire. And so I think the one thing that I really could do a lot better on as an organization with people that are here and new people is that we focus massive amounts of energy on what? Who you are right now, who do we got to get you to be? 